Oh hey guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today's just gonna be a quick video about my Photoshop editing workflow. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the music while I show you how I edit this image in Photoshop. Let's first open the image in Photoshop. Then go to Filter, Camera Raw Filter, and set the exposure and white balance according to your preference. Next is to duplicate the layer by pressing Ctrl J. Then select the Spot Healing Brush tool and start removing the dark spots. Take your time with this process and only try to remove the obvious and distracting blemishes. You may also zoom in and zoom out to have a better look at the entire image. There, it's looking good. We can now start the skin retouching process by going to Actions. And then run my custom made frequency separation Photoshop action. I'll put the link on the video description for you to download. Then adjust the radius and threshold values for surface blur. And also add skin texture and high pass filter. Take note that when adjusting for the surface blur, make sure that the skin colors blend well but not to the point that it looks plasticky like a mannequin. And as for the high pass filter, make sure to add just the right amount of skin texture. Then select the brush tool by pressing the letter B on the keyboard. Make sure that the foreground color is set to white. Then start painting on the face. Then to double check what we have painted, select the mask, then hold the Alt key and click on the mask. Then we just paint white on the areas that we missed. Let's exclude the eyebrows, eyes, and lips by painting them with black. This will bring back the details. Okay, we're almost done. Let's create a merged visible layer by pressing Ctrl-Alt-Shift and the letter E on the keyboard. Then we go to Filter, Camera Raw Filter, and apply a color preset of our choice. I'll select this one. Here, you can be creative as much as you like and the possibilities are endless. Note that there is no right or wrong when applying the color effects of your choice. If the image looks good for you, stick with it. Just be creative, and use your imagination. Her face looks a bit dark, so I'll apply a radial filter and brighten her face a little. And we're done. This is the final image. What do you think of my edit? I'd like to know your thoughts so please comment down below. And if you find this video helpful, please hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and click on the bell icon to get notified when I upload a new video. And by the way, please do check out this online text-to-speech software that I used for this video.
It's called Speechalo. And it's a great tool for doing voiceovers because it's almost close to a real human sounding voice. They have over 30 human sounding voices. It includes male, female and kid voices. If you want to learn more, I'll put a link on the video description down below. Also, I'm a 3D animated character in Create Studio. The best video animation software for creating explainer videos, infographics, training videos, advertisements, or just for simply creating content for your YouTube channel. They have tons of built-in presets and templates so you can start creating amazing videos right away. Check out Create Studio today. I'll see you on my next video. Thank you for watching.